South Australia's police officers are threatening changes to the way they police if the government doesn't amend its new compensation rules for workers injured in the line of duty. Jared Brevy joins us from police headquarters where the union has just met with the police commissioner. Good evening, Jared. What's the latest? Brenton, the Police Association has just outlined to the Police Commissioner the actions it intends to take to fight for stronger compensation for injured police officers. They say the Commissioner listened, but it's unclear at this stage if he is supportive of the moves. Now, it has been a big day for SA Police with a decision made to rally on the steps of Parliament. There's also been moves for a safety overhaul to the way police officers do their jobs. Making a clear stand, officers arrive for a crisis meeting with the Police Association. Hoping for a good outcome today? I am, certainly am, yes. A unanimous vote confirming a protest rally will be held on the steps of Parliament next Wednesday to voice their concerns. Our delegates know that this is the most serious issue that they'll probably face in their careers. The union is angry some officers injured in the line of duty won't receive extended compensation under the new Return to Work Act and are calling for changes to ensure every worker is looked after. We've offered to speak with them to resolve individual hard cases. That offer remains on the table. But officers say that's not good enough and will consider industrial action if their rally doesn't sway the Premier. If the government are going to change and take away entitlements for police who put themselves in harm's way, then we have to look at the way we go about our business. Those changes would include abolishing solo police patrols, a minimum of three officers to patrol nightclub districts and giving every officer a gun, taser and body armour. But the Premier is standing strong and says the union's demands would leave other emergency services on the outer. The idea of creating those separate set of rules for police compared with other workers um, has no precedent across the nation. Jared Brevy, Nine News.